This is a throttle position sensor setting on an ST4S. Freehand for a while and to be used in conjunction with the report on my website. As with other things on these things, you're not going to be able to see a whole lot around the frame, but at least you'll get an idea of what the instructions mean. So this is 2004 or 5 ST4S. And it's pretty unique in that if you look here, you can see the original paint on the TPS locking screws. Pretty rare to see that these days. So no one's ever adjusted it. So we would assume it's wrong. How wrong? We'll find out. When I do these, I use this, which is a from the Mathesis kit to read the TPS value. Uh, in millivolts and there's a couple of things to be aware of <clears throat> one of the things that people often don't do and we'll see if we can see it down here is the fast idle linkage now the fast idle is this thing here and you can see this steel lever has two end points in it and that's fine and where it is now set is just fine it's on a minimum you pull the fast lever on to maximum and back off. Now there's no point adjusting anything here. There's no point backing the cable off or any of that because it doesn't make any difference. That This lever sets the hard point of the, of the fast idle system. So what you need to do is back off the little lever that this lever runs on. So this screw is now loose, this screw just here, and if we look from the top, the lever it works on, you can see the top of that lever moving there. So that's the intermediate lever. So having undone that, that means that our fast idle system isn't going to be a problem when we get into adjusting the TPS, because we need the throttles fully closed, and quite often the fast idle stops that happening. So to get the TPS adjustment happening, I plug this into the TPS. So I unplug the TPS down here at the bottom. I plug this in. And then I plug this in. And it says on here that we're going into wires two and three. So you just need to find the right pair. And what I always do is I always record where I'm starting from just in case I ever have to go back there for whatever reason. We turn the ignition on, we get 445 millivolts, or 440. I think it was snapshot if you want. So that's what the idle stop here is setting that to. And what we want to do is disconnect the throttle linkage so that the vertical butterfly isn't in fact in the horizontal, because the TPS is on the horizontal. So what I do is get the pair of side cutters pull the linkage up, put the sides there and just push in and it just pushes that linkage off really nicely. And now we've gone to 452 because it hasn't got the additional load of this sort of body, the spring pushing it shut. So 452, I've taken the throttle cable out of the wheel here, so the throttle cable is not going to hold it from shutting. And then we undo this idle stop screw here. We wind it out. Fair way. <laughs> and now we're fully shut. If we go to fully shut, you see it's locking there now. 153. Well, it might have just been completely right. That's always nice. I usually just shut it and then give it a, bit of a wiggle and that way you sort of you can feel a bit of a snap on it to open it again. So it looks like it was actually pretty much spot on, which is very unusual. 152. So now that we know that it's okay, we'll wind this screw back in. And 
and this should be about 420 millivolts, I think, or maybe it's a bit more than that. So that was a bit boringly uneventful. I'll get the diagnostic tool, we'll plug that in, and we'll see what we've got there. Okay, so I've got the diagnostic tool hooked up. In this case, the old Texa Axoni, which was the original uh, Modigutsi Aprilia tool. I have one, it's handheld, it's easy to use. So now we're looking at the throttle opening, and on here it's 420 millivolts, but on here it's 3.3 degrees. And that's not uncommon to get a mismatch in the, uh, in the relationship between throttle opening and millivolts and degrees. It's just how it is. So I always use the degrees on the diagnostic tool. So we want 2.6. So if we wind it out, the throttle stop out till we get 2.6. We might even reconnect our rod. So we get the load from the vertical throttle body squeezing it as well. Get some big pliers and just give it a push. It snaps back on. Ah, so now we've got the reading is just sort of oscillating between 2.6 and 2.7. Right now it's 2.5. Take it up a touch. Okay, so that's 2.6, about 357 millivolts. So that's where we'll leave it. So it was 440 odd millivolts, now it's 357. Again, it's one of those convention things. Do you use millivolts or do you use degrees? Uh, we've always used degrees and that's just how we do it. Any, any tuning I've ever done on an ST4S has been done with this sort of baseline, so that's just how it is. And that's, you can see that, 2.6 degrees just there. <clears throat> so that's the TPS kind of set. Let's turn the bike off, kill the diagnostic tool. What I usually do once I've done this is I try and clean all the crud off. This screw, which on this bike is pretty dirty. And I put some paint on it just so that way I can see if when it goes out and then it comes back because it's not running right, I can see if someone's been messing with it. And usually I will also scrape the original paint off there even if I haven't adjusted it, but normally I would have adjusted it and so I'd be marking it up just as a visual indicator to me and to anyone else in the future who knows what they're looking at, that it has been adjusted. And I'm use a, a non-genuine colour in this case, BMW Amarina metallic red left over from the moto one days so that's tps baseline setting done these sort of bodies i gave a good clean yesterday in the blades here so that's why they're they're quite clean it's a good idea to do that if there's a whole lot of of gunge in there it can affect this reading somewhat so it's worth doing on a four valve it's easy to do two valves it's a lot harder to get in there and clean and you usually don't so yeah un unusual to find one correct but it happens sometimes. But anyway, at least now we know.